Hey everybody, welcome to my Tarantula installation video. This is going to be part one. Uh, I'm going to be kind of going through the instructions as they are uh, put out by Tarantula. Um, so we're going to start with step one here, which is A9. So I have my A9 bag out. So we'll go through these two steps and then uh, I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing uh, along the way. I'm also going to do a few changes. Um, this uh, this printer has been out for a couple weeks, and uh, a lot of people on the forums have been coming up with uh, cool ways to improve it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of those ways as we build. Um, and the first thing here um, is let's go through our parts that are in our A9 bag. So we have our M5 nuts, or I'm sorry, our M5 bolts. We have our two eccentric nuts. We have six lock washers or spring washers. We have four nuts, we have two spacers, nylon spacers, and we have four uh, bearing wheels. I'm going to call them bearing wheels just because they look like wheels. Um, and the first thing, oh, and then we also have our, uh, our mounting bracket for our hot end and our X axis. So the first thing we want to do is grab one of these bolts and you want to actually pop out each one of these bearings. Um, I've already done it on all of mine, but uh, just kind of wedge the the screw in there and just kind of pop it out um, I'll show you again so these are in there pretty tight um, just use the screw and just kind of try to pull each one of these out um, so go ahead and pause the video and do that on all four of these um, we're gonna show you a trick that will make these move much smoother than the way the instructions have us putting them together so go ahead and pop those out just one side and uh, and then come on back Okay, so now that you have these guys popped out, uh, let's get to building as per the instructions. So we're going to slide our M5 bolt through. We're going to take one spring washer. We're going to put it on the inside here and then put our bearing back on. And this is going to allow us to be able to tighten these down without the bearings binding up. We're going to do another washer. We're going to put a spacer. And then we're going to go ahead and put this through. Now, the one, uh, the holes with the spacer are your smaller holes. You'll see that these actually have two bigger holes and then two smaller holes. So the smaller holes will be the ones where the spacer will go. And actually, let's see, we want this to go this way. You're going to want your holes here for your X limit switch um, to be on the right. So as this travels, uh, this will be on the right this way. If you're looking at the back, if you're looking at it this way, it'll be on the left. So just make sure it's oriented this way, okay? So we're gonna take our nut. Oops, butterfingers. I'm gonna put our nut on there. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that nut down. Now you can use the Allen wrenches that they uh, provided as well. I'm going to use my own tools for most of this video just because it'll make things go a little faster. Um, and you can go ahead and tighten that down pretty tight and we still got a pretty smooth moving wheel. Okay, and I'm actually not quite tight enough there so I'm going to use their um, wrench and just tighten these down to get a nice tight. There we go. Nice tight. The spring washer in there or the lock washer should actually be completely compressed. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the other one of those. So let's uh, go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and pop this guy out. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our bolt, one lock washer, put our other bearing back on, squeeze it on there. Uh, another lock washer, spacer, and then through the other small hole. And we'll put another nut on. And we will go ahead and tighten that down as well. Okay. Again, our bolt, lock washer, bearing 
And this time there's no more lock washer. We just go straight eccentric nut. And these do look odd because they're a little wobbly. Um, and we'll see what those are for later. And these are gonna go through the bigger holes. And uh, that little piece that comes up should fit right inside that hole. Now, if you want to, you can, if you have some extra washers around, you can put some washers on the outside here because these holes are a little bit big for these nuts. Um, so just be careful when you tighten these down that the nut doesn't fall into the hole. Okay. And let's do our final one. So we got bolt lock washer, spring washer, bearing, eccentric nut, again flat side up against the bearing, uh, chamfered side uh, pointing up and we'll go into this hole. Make sure that guy is on here good and tight. And there we go. Very nice moving wheels. Okay. Um, and then the next video, we're going to go ahead and jump into the hot end and then get that mounted on here. And I want to talk about the hot end a little bit.